Hello, snowboarders of the internet. I'm your host, Averin Lefebvre, and in this video, we're gonna be reviewing the Arbor Verado, an all new board based off the women's Vita and basically replacing the Coda Rocker. This board features Arbor's system rocker. So from the center, you have a full reverse camber with grip tech underfoot. That grip tech is gonna give you that added traction you need when you're on a groomer so it doesn't just helicopter spin around. But that full reverse in there is gonna make this board very playful, easy to butter, easy to ride powder with, and something that you're not really gonna to have to load up aggressively to get it to engage. This board's available in 157, 159, and 162 wide. I rode this board at Copper Mountain on a day that was a mix of blue and gray skies. You had some hot pow, chop chunder, high winds at times, you know. It was just like kind of one of those weird mid-season days, and I rode it with my Rome Black Label bindings and my K2 Thraxxus boots. So overall, this board comes in just above middle of the road. It's not fully in the free ride spectrum. It's more in that all mountain freestyle category, in my opinion. What you do get is a slightly softer nose and then it stiffens up through the midsection and then it's a little stiffer in the tail. The torsional flex is highly abundant with this board. You can really ankle steer it. Now with that softer nose, you do get some chatter at speeds and that reverberates back underfoot. So you will kind of feel it in the front foot. It's not enough to fully fatigue it unless you're just straight lining a fully icy run. And even then this board does a really good job at dampening that. So you don't have to worry about it. It's a board that it remains lively, but it's still a smooth, consistent ride. If you do hit something when you're leaning back right in that dead center where that reverse is, you can get bucked. Be aware of that. But for the most part, this board's actually really smooth for what it is, especially being a full reverse camber. With this board being fully reversed, it's very easy to roll back on the tail to get it to engage, and it gives it that skate-like pop. You don't really have to aggressively load this. You just sort of roll back and pop, and as you bring your front foot up and your back foot, it springs a little bit. Now you're gonna have enough snap to send a side hit, pop a roller, you know, you're not really gonna have to worry about it. And when it comes to jumps, small to medium-ish features are really where it stands out. Anything bigger, you're gonna want something with camber. It's just gonna be easier to land. Would this be my first choice for a jump board? No, not at all, not by any means. It's just, there's better boards from Arbor for that. But can it get the job done if this is the only thing you have? Yes, it definitely can. Hey you, why haven't you subscribed? You know, click the bell, get those notifications, that way you're not missing any of these videos we got coming out because, well, let's be real, we put out a lot every year and you know you're missing some, then you're searching, so you need it, so go look for it. If you want to butter on this board, roll back on the tail. Woo, you're doing a wheelie. Roll forward on the nose. Hey, you're in a nose press. You want to get sideways? You totally can. There is enough torsional flex in this board that you can really twist it and play around however you want. In fresh snow or even just leftover day old hot pow, you can really press into it and get a nice pow butter because of that reverse camber. When it comes to jibbing, it doesn't suck. It's very easy to actually engage a press on this board, roll back, you're in a tail press, roll forward, you're in a nose press. When you go sideways, it kind of slips a little bit from the middle to either putting you under your front foot or your back foot. So. Be aware that it's not gonna just like cradle and fully lock around. It's gonna kind of push you a little more forward or backwards depending on how your weight is centered. Would it be my first choice to jib with? No, but is it easy to press? Yes. You do get a little bit of snap out of anything that you do, which is nice because if you're balanced on the tail, you can kind of just engage it with a little flick of the ankle and get a little bit of pop. You're not gonna boost to the moon, but it's enough to get you off the end of the feature. With the grip tech right underfoot, you can really ankle steer this board. So if you're looking for quick, easy to engage movements that just lock you in, this is gonna do it. This board has a fluid edge to edge power transmission. It's not the most powerful, but there's power in there if you absolutely need it. With it being reverse camber, you can really disengage that front foot, lock it in under that back foot, drive your knee into the center and roop out a carve. Short, tight, quick carves and medium mellow carves are really its strong suit. That's where it stands out. You're just sort of cruising the blues. You just lay in that mellow trench from side to side. Maybe you're skidding on the edge before you catch it and then drive hard on your heel side to get out of that area because you know, you're ashamed of what you did. I'm not saying I did, you know what you did, you know who you are. Now, can you Euro carve it? Yes, 
if you know what you're doing. If you don't, you're gonna have a bad time. This is one of those boards that it's got subtle nuance to how you can deeply aggressively carve it. And it works when you want it to, if you know what you're doing. If you don't, you're gonna kind of have a bad time because you do lose a little bit of that power out of the center if you're trying to keep both feet locked in. So you end up more or less disengaging that front, driving that knee into the center while you lay it over, sticking your arm out, trying to drag your armpit and nipple, and then continue on your way. Who's this board for? The do everything reverse camber board rider person, I don't know, someone that wants something that's really easy to engage and can kind of take it all over, or someone that's coming off the old Coda rocker and wants the next generation of that. Want to support us further? Swing on over to Angry Snowboarder VIP and become a member. Yeah, that's right. It's a membership program. You can be a member, members only. You know you want to do it. Do it. Do it. So this really does remind me of the first generation Coda Rocker. I had two or three of those boards. It's a little bit stiffer, but not much. So it really does feel like that with that reverse camber. The grip tech works. You can just lock it in and do mellow carves, not have to worry about it. I had a blast playing around on side hits with this board because it's just skate like pop. You can just go in and pop at the last minute, get up in the air. Are you gonna boost the moon? No, but it's forgiving, it's easy. It's a mellow ride. This is actually a really good board from Arbor. I really did enjoy it for what it is. I think it's actually gonna sell very well for the Coda Rocker crew that's looking for something similar to that now that the Coda and the Coda Carbon have become more aggressive and more free ride oriented. This is kind of your intermediate rad dad board, if you will. Comparable boards, the LibTech Terrain Wrecker, the Ride Shadow Band, the Nidecker Escape. Binding recommendations, the Arbor Cypress, the Rome DoD, the Union Force. This has been my review of the Arbor Verado. If you liked it, why don't you go check out one of the reviews for one of the comparable boards we listed in this.